Hey VC, how you doing? William Quinn, P-O-G-W-O for life. How you doing? I uh, got a uh, pickup video I want to share today. Um, got some uh, new stuff at Half Price Books and a couple of other records. Uh, and as, also when I uh, want to show something from Mr. Hall of Fame. Uh, I got a record today that I think is from your time in maybe high school, junior high. You might remember it, but you might not remember it. Um... I'll just let me go for what I've uh, got first already. So, let me show the CD bin I got today. A uh, really good jazz album I got was uh, Greg Osby, uh, Inner Circle. I was just listening to this at home coming from work. Man, this is a great Blue Note record. Check this out if you can. This is really good, like modern Blue Note jazz. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And so next up, found this for two bucks. The very best of Motorhead. Not a bad pickup. Uh, Garth Brooks for Open the Wind. This is uh, one of two Garth albums I don't have yet, so there's that. Uh, a little Cascada. Uh, Every Time We Touch. I have another one of hers already. Uh, she does a very good cover of uh, What Hurts the Most, uh, the Rascal Flat song. Uh, on the album after this, but I didn't have this one yet, so. <clears throat> uh, one of the, this is honestly one of the last hip-hop albums I really liked in the 90s before all the No Limit stuff came out. Um, I thought this was, uh, this is like one of the last, the last two original hip-hop albums I ever bought that time. Uh, the other one was Camp Low, which I really liked. Uh, this one was uh, Project Funk the World by Craig Mack. I thought he was the coolest man. So, uh, and this one is a kind of a blind buy, kind of sort of a blind buy, but I just want to check it out. Um, this is a uh, Scott McIntyre. You probably remember him from uh, American Idol. He was the uh, blind singer on American Idol from a few years back. Um, uh, I think it just came out this year. It's called Songs of Hope. I'm dig. I'm really looking forward to hearing this. So. Let's get a song called uh, Through the Eyes of Jesus on there, so that shouldn't be that bad. So <laughs> I needed uh, another copy of this. I lost my other one. Crack review, uh, Honey and the Blowfish. And uh, Mr. Hoffman, I think you showed this on vinyl the other day. Lover's Rock Shy Day. Got me a copy of that. And, oh. And um, this I was going to get last week, but... I kind of lost at Half Price Books, but lucky enough, I did find it in the dollar bin again. Uh, live Pat Metheny group album. This is uh, this uh, the Road to You. Uh, really looking forward to hearing that. And I got one movie for a buck. Um, Country Strong. Just want to show that. Now, the album I wanted to show Mr. Hall of Fame. Um, when I first heard the songs off this album, I thought they were the coolest songs ever. And at first, I didn't know the guy that was singing it was this guy. I thought it may have been a sound alike of this guy, but I did find out later it was him. So let me show you the album it was. The album I'm talking about is, uh, you might remember this, Mr. Hall of Fame. I'm Real by James Brown. I don't know if you remember this album or not, but I thought this was the first... The singles that came off this stack, part one, two, and I'm real were the coolest songs I ever heard. So, I'm glad I picked this up. It, the vinyl's in dead mint condition. Uh, it's got a little bit of a promo cut out there, but that's okay. Uh, I accidentally bent it a little bit, but I'm not worried about it. So, I'm going to jam this right now after I make this video. So, um, I just want to show you guys what I got, and I hope you guys like it. William Quinn, POGWO for Life, signing off. And comment below. I want to hear your comments. I want to get in this VC community. So, peace out.